So we all know Fatalis, big bad black dragon, god of all monsters, and stronger than the sun. But did you know that there's four monsters that could totally kill him in a fight, beat him, take his throne, and make him cry? Wait, what? Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to one of my favorite things in all of Monster Hunter, Talking Law. But beyond that, Talking Law in regards to which monster would kill another monster, like some kind of ultimate showdown. Hunters cried out in desperate chorus as up from the hells ascended Fatalis. And today, I want to revisit a topic I have touched on before, and that is Fatalis and the defeating of him. He is canonically the strongest monster, so to posit that there are monsters that could beat him feels kind of counterintuitive when he is very much confirmed to be the pinnacle. But being the pinnacle doesn't mean you are undefeatable, it just means you are the pinnacle. If you are a 10 out of 10, then three 9 out of 10s could surely, well, defeat you with a little bit of effort, right? Right? He's not unreachable, he just sits at the top of the mountain, but the mountain remains climbable. And of course, a third metaphor for describing this very ultimately simple video premise that you more than understand by now. So let's get on with this with my four current up-to-date picks for the monsters that I would send into the arena if my life depended on something defeating Fatalis. Number four, then, is going to be, perhaps, I'll admit, a bit of a meme choice. Where's my Dragonator? Ready when you are. Good. Fire! What the fuck? Yes, Zara Magdaros. No, 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 listen, listen. As I said, this is a bit of a joke choice, but I also think it is very legitimate. The reason being is Zara Magdaros is the largest monster by weight. Dalmadur, of course, is longer, but there is nothing generally, let's use the word, bigger than Zara Magdaros. He's a walking volcano with all the rock included that is his shell. Which leads him to be, by far and away, the heaviest monster that exists. And therein you see where I'm going, right? Fatalis may be the Black Dragon, but he still has to obey the laws of physics and mass and strength and leverage. And what happens? I ask you, dear viewer, when Azara Magdaros simply layeth down upon Fatalis and doesn't move. Well, I put it to you, the result of that equation is squish. And even if we argue that Fatalis' resilience, scales, bone density, and muscle strength is enough to not get squished by that kind of weight discrepancy, he still is going to be pinned and able to move because he is certainly not strong enough to lift a Zora Magdaros. Nothing is. In fact, no other monster, I believe, could beat Fatalis via sheer bulk. And that is because of two factors. In order to beat Fatalis via, you know, crushing, you have to A, be large enough to do it, but you also have to B, be fire resistant enough to do it, because you will get point blanked bigged burned by Fatalis. Yet there is nary a single more fire resistant monster than our walking volcano with his obsidian rock shell at Actual lava flows on him that literally swims through lava underground and has lava cores and you, you just you're not gonna kill Zora Magdaros with fire which means in like the one in ten times where Zora Magdaros can literally fall on a Fatalis and then not move there is nothing Fatalis can do and if he's not crushed immediately he'll eventually die and there you have my best technicality here and god damn it gives Zora Magdaros a little little bit of props, does it not? Anyway, let's move on from that little gem to a more serious combative choice in number three. Best 
final boss in Satan car I'm so swell, fear not the loss No, don't dwell and embrace the pain I bring hell, all I can try Nothing but a hus. let's do this If we must Guys, Magom This one is fun and of course a new Sunbreak monster So a new challenger to this title Yes, I don't think that literally Guys, Magom the creature itself could beat Fatalis with consistency. He does have quite ferociously flaming attacks, and Fatalis isn't the biggest fan of fire, and he also, of course, has a size and therefore likely strength advantage, but the big burn is still the big burn, and of course, he'll have trouble with an agile flying opponent, of which Fatalis can be, not to mention Fatalis's sheer intelligence. But of course, you know where I'm going with this. One thing Guys McGorn has is a near endless swarm of flying bite leeches that not only power him up with endless life force, and maybe eventually they would power him up enough to be able to take Vitalis. We don't know how far it goes because we killed him before it could go further. But maybe. The potential is exponential in a guy's McCord. Maybe if he's allowed to exist for years and years on the surface, the amount of life energy brought in by Curios could make him unstoppable. But that is just theory. What is fact is that the Curios have been confirmed to be able to bite through iron, which means more than likely they can bite through Fatalis Hide. If not, they can go to the throat, they can go to the eyes. Yes, brutal, but certainly doable. And no matter how powerful you are, just ask the ants and all of the large lizards, insects, and sometimes even beyond that that they kill that have no chance to put up a fight against that many smaller opponents swarming them. Well, there's not much to be done here. That Lunagron that's bristling with curios, that Anginath, there's no reason to believe that couldn't be Fatalis. Yes, he could try and wreathe himself in flame, but he can't cover his own head in flame. Yes, he can heat up, but the Curios can happily live with Geismagon, and he is, of course, a very hot flaming monster. So really, I feel like there is not much Fatalis could do against this swarm, and it would eventually get him, which is what makes them so terrifying, such a cool addition to Monster Hunter, and so very dangerous. It's hard to imagine how anything could stop it from happening, especially when we know the Curios have gotten to, well, something like Magma Almadron that can burrow through lava, and they've gotten to something like Zenoga that's a walking electric field bug zapper. Both of that should be impossible, right? But yet they get him. And thus, I believe they could get Fatalis through sheer numbers and endless, endless swarming. Coming in then at number two... <laughs> Our dirty, great, big snake, Dalamadur. Now we're entering into the realm of a more proper one-on-one -on -one fight. Dalamadur again, size advantage. In the animal kingdom, well, size is everything. Nothing fucks with an elephant for a very, very good reason. Nor a polar bear, nor a hippo. You just can't do anything when there's that much raw muscle mass coming at you. And Dalamadur, of course, the serpent king dragon, is very much much in that camp. So on top of having the physical advantage, almost certainly, he also isn't really going to be too bothered about Fatalis flying, as he also has his gargantuanly powerful fire breaths and meteor rain. We know Fatalis isn't the best when it comes to fire, and definitely would be affected by something as powerful as what Dalmadur can produce. I think Dalmadur would also have a fairly okay time resisting the big burn. He could also burrow completely at a moment's notice, and could very much avoid the big burn and until it's finished, and then resurface and continue the assault. I think there is every chance that this is quite the epic clash that I think Fatalis is still advantaged of, but I think 30, maybe generously 40% of the time, Dalmadur can at least force the retreat of Fatalis, if not the actual win itself. And of course, there is the paralysis too, which certainly isn't going to harm his chances. 
And then maybe if you accept that Delimiter can get a lot bigger based on the evidence in the Rotten Veil, it could just perhaps one bite swallow for Dallas. Though I should have to think what an internal big burn would do, so maybe that would be more a self-destructive tactic. In any case, Delimiter has the three key factors in battling for Talis. A size advantage, resistance to flame, and the ability to generate powerful amounts of it, and of course a way to survive the big burn. All right then, in at number one, he might only be a, but damn, can Safi Jeeva dance with the God of All Monsters. See, uh, Savage Jeeva was also my number one pick last time I talked about this, and you guys were largely split on my decision to make him that. By and large, there was a big sentiment of, no, that's ridiculous, Savage Jeeva's obviously powerful and stuff, but there is no way he's going to beat Fatalis, it's just not going to happen, even with Sapphire of the Emperor. Ah. But the thing is, Savage Jeeva is the Red Dragon. No coincidence, he is just Color Dragon, as Fatalis is Black Dragon, a title reserved for only the strongest monsters. And it is with great pleasure and VINDICATION! that I uh, saw in the Iceborne Lore Ecology book, officially released by Capcom, we finally have confirmation that Safi Jeeva is both designed to be and is equal to Fatalis. The key word there is equal, making this a true 50-50 bout. They are as powerful as each other. And we even got the nod that Latrion, the supposedly other Black Dragon second powerfulest monster, was in the New World to destroy the Safi Eggs because they were a threat to him. It cannot be overstated how much they want Safi Jeeva to stand tall alongside Fatalis. They are of a muchness. The Sapphire of the Emperor certainly could damage Fatalis just as much as the Big Burn could damage Safi Jeeva. He could simply heal through it. Imagine him wreathed in the flames as he's got both hands in the ground sucking life energy, seeing what happens first, his death, or if he could regenerate faster than he is being melted away. That's quite a fun image. But both are large, powerful, agile flying monsters with massively powerful breath attacks and explosions with massive amounts of uh, toughness to them and both of them very insanely hard to kill. It is no coincidence that they are well made to be equals in their strength and it is so cool to actually know that is true. I'm so glad it turns out Safi is kind of of that level and honestly I would love to see a second red dragon to expand that category. But in any case, for all the reasons I said back then, the size advantage, I think the energy beams and Sapphire would be incredibly potent. He can keep up with Fatalis in the air, he can dodge the burn or he can regen through it. He has so many tools at his disposal that can both damage, counter, and combat Fatalis, and that is very, very cool. So there we have it, guys. Let me know what you think, of course, and any monsters you also think could handle Fatalis. I wanted to stay to the main line, which is why I've not gone Frontieri and such, as there's a couple there, but maybe that can be another video entirely. For now, like me, enjoy this, subscribe for more. Please consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.